Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. Relatively recently, Instagram came out with a way for creators to make money through their Instagram Reels, and it's essentially fan funding. So your audience, if they really like one of your videos, they can do what is called sending you a gift. And essentially that gift gets converted into money, which then goes to the creator. So in order to unlock the option to receive gifts from your audience, if you live in a non-US country like I do, you need to have 1,000 followers. Well, the day I'm filming this is November 28th, and just under two weeks ago on November 15th, I hit 1,000 followers. And so yesterday on November 27th, 12 days after hitting this milestone, I got the option to turn on the ability to earn from gifts. And right as I saw it, I wanted to turn it on right away, but I held off because I wanted to turn it on with you guys in this YouTube video. So essentially, I didn't get a notification, oh, you're now eligible to earn through Instagram. No, I just came across it by chance. I had uploaded a reel and I was going to check on that reel, see how many views it had, see how many likes it had. And when I clicked on the video, in the bottom it said earn from gifts. So if I click on earn from gifts, I get this pop-up that says start earning from gifts. Gifts are a new way for people to show appreciation on Instagram. Instagram. People can send gifts on your reels, but you won't earn money until you confirm we have your basic details correct. So let's get started. So it says earn money when you receive gifts on reels. Keep being your creative self. Create and share reels just as you have before. Get support from your audience. Let people send virtual gifts to show their appreciation. Earn from Instagram. Confirm your basic details are correct to start earning money from gifts. Firstly, I want to click learn more about gifts and it brings you to this Instagram help page. And I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but essentially it says your gifts are converted into stars and each star is worth one US cent. So if someone sent you 100 stars, that would be one US dollar. And then it says that you need to live in one of the eligible countries. I will put the list on the screen right now. You can pause to read all of them. And so I live in Canada and Canada is one of those countries. Then it says that you need to have a professional dashboard, which essentially means you just can't have a personal account. So for example, if you go to my Instagram page, it says my name, Olivia Henry, and then underneath it, it says video creator. Because when you have a professional account, you need to select what type of professional you are. There's video creator, athlete, artist, all of this stuff. Just pick the one that best suits your page. And you also need to be over 18 years old. You need to follow Instagram's monetization policies. You need to follow the community guidelines of Instagram and if you are a US creator, you need 500 followers. And if you are outside of the US in one of the listed countries, you need a thousand. Now let's go back to Instagram and it's telling me I can earn, so I'm gonna click continue. Then it says, let's start with the basics. This account info will be used to set up your profile. Make sure your first and last name are written as they appear on your tax documents. So my first name, you guys know, Olivia, last name Henry, date of birth January 24th 1999 this is not private information if you guys have watched my videos you know this by now and then my country is Canada next so all of this that we're filling out right now, as you can see at the top, this is to set up the payout account because once you reach 25 US dollars in your Instagram bank, then they need to send the money somewhere. So we gotta tell them where to send it. My business type, I'm an individual slash sole proprietor. If this is for your business page and you have an LLC or it's a charity, you pick the respective option. For me, it's individual. Next. So now we need to get into a little bit more personal stuff. My middle name, if applicable, because some people don't have middle names. My primary address my city, province, postal code, phone number, email, all that stuff. And then my tax identification number. In America, you have a social security number. In Canada, that would be my social insurance number. So that's a very private number that you don't like tell the general public. So I'm gonna fill this in real quick. <laughs> So I filled in all that information and now I'm gonna click next. And now I get to choose how I would like to be paid. So I can either link my bank account and get it sent as a direct deposit 
or I can get the money through PayPal. And it says that you can change your payout method whenever you so choose. Right now, I'm going to choose to link my bank account. I need to fill in the country of the bank that I bank with, where that bank is located, and then the account holder name, routing number, and the account number. So I'm gonna fill that in real quick. <laughs> Okay, so I have filled in all the information and now I'm going to link payout method. Now it's asking me to add my tax information because any money you make, you have to pay taxes on, that's just the way it is. Add your tax info. This info is required for tax reporting and should match your most recent tax return. Click add tax info. So it says tax would like to receive the following information about Olivia Henry 18, which is my Instagram handle, allow. So my tax classification is individual. It's asking if I'm a US citizen, permanent resident, or US resident alien. I am none of those, so no. Are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment on behalf of another person or as a flow through entity? Nope. Next. Now it's asking for my full name, my country of citizenship, and then it already has my taxpayer identification number that I previously put in. So my country of citizenship is Canada and then click next. And then it wants my address, which I already filled in from before. So I'm just double checking that everything is correct and it is. So I'm just going to click next and my mailing address is the same. Click next. So it's asking the location of my services, my business. And for me, 0% of services will be physically performed inside the United States. All the content I film is in Canada. Next, I consent to provide electronic signature for the information provided as per IRS form W8BEN, which is essentially a form for non-US residents who are not necessarily making money in the US, but making money from a US company. Like Instagram is an American company. So I'm making money in Canada through an American platform. Therefore, I need to fill out a W8 bent. And one thing, there's six points in this virtual form that I need to sign, but I just wanna emphasize point number four. And it says the person named on line one of this form is a resident of the treaty country listed on line nine of the form, if any, within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and that country. So essentially, Canada has a treaty with the US, so you won't be taxed in both countries. So let's say, hypothetically, I made $100, and let's say the US tax would be 30%, which means the American government or the IRS or whoever would get $30 and I'd get 70. And then let's say now I have the 70, but then I get taxed again by the CRA, Canada Revenue Agency in Canada. So then they take another 30% from my 70. So then that would be, they'd take $21, which means I'd be left with $49. However, because of this treaty between US and Canada, I will only be charged tax in Canada. So the money I make on Instagram, if I make $100, they're gonna send me the full $100, and then I file my taxes to the CRA, they take, let's say 30%, so that I'm left with $70 instead of getting taxed twice and only getting 49. So that's just one thing I wanted to emphasize. Because of Canada's treaty with the US, I will not be double taxed, so that's nice. So then I need to check this box. I certify that I have the capacity to sign for the person identified online one of this form. Yes, I have the capacity to sign for myself. And so for my signature, I need to type my full name as my virtual signature and then click next. So now I just need to review the W8 Ben form and everything is correct. So I'm going to submit the form. So for my tax profile, it says you have successfully submitted your information and your information has been verified. And so my tax information is complete. No further action is required at this time. And so I can either get my tax documents electronically or through the mail. I'll just get it electronically and then click done. And now we have this check mark and it says you can now earn money from gifts. When people send gifts on your reels, you can receive payouts from Instagram. Create and share reels just as you have before. Let your audience know they can send gifts on your reels and then click done. And now in this section of my Instagram, 
you can see that my status for gifts is eligible. I have allow gifts on reels turned on. My current approximate earnings is $0 because I just, just turned it on. So now if I want to occasionally check my earnings, you see this gray box that says professional dashboard. I'll tap on that. And then if I scroll down, I have this option for gifts, which was not there before. Tap on that and then it brings me back to this page and then I can continue to check the approximate earnings. And if I tap on that, it says, keep track of how much you earn from gifts. Your approximate earnings show the amount of money earned from gifts received after adding your payment details. Click OK. I guess it will show you monthly. So right now it says November 1st to November 30th, $0. And at the top, it also says zero. Then when it becomes December, it'll show me my December earnings, January, so on and so on and so on. So that is how you sign up to earn from gifts through your Instagram reels. It is a little bit of a lengthy process. I didn't expect it to take this long. I thought I would just click okay and then it would be done. But obviously if you're making money, the government wants their cut. So you have to fill in all your tax information. And so yeah, I just wanted to go through it with you guys. So if you guys aren't currently eligible to earn gifts, then I will have a link in the description to the requirements, how many followers you need, what country you need to live in, etc., etc. And once you are eligible, now you guys know how to set everything up, set up your tax information, set up your payout account so that once you start making that money, they know who to send it to. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. Thank you to my channel members and be sure to check out one of these suggested videos and I'll see you next Monday with a new video.